like this home court a, a, a depending on who's playing better than another in any given season but really you kind of throw everything out because it's just one of those games one of those contests one of those matchups those rivalries that uh, any good team can beat another good team She may have she may have made already of the twelve. Welcome in if you're on the live stream. Sorry that took a little bit of time getting on, but we're back. We got it made. We're having some 
internet issues, so it's uh, maybe slow going. We apologize for that. There's the fat can double on the free throw. Splits the pair. Now to Matty Burdett. Back up top to the, the point guard. And Peterson, she'll dribble in. Shot with the right hand. One left. It's foul. will head to the free throw line to shoot. That foul against Fatkin. That's her first personal foul. Second team foul on Glacier Peak. And not able to hit the free throw. It's Mr. Peterson. Boy, did boys game last night. Uh, Glacier Peak has been good way. At Glacier Peak, 50 free throws between two teams in that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so the boys oh yeah. It goes okay. down all the way through the contest. <laughs> Rasmus into the corner goes. They'll dump it down the dead corner. Three on the way. Kill it. Everyone's gonna have to get a hand up on their shooters. That's it. their third three this quarter. Easily with the triple, and it's sixteen six. It blossoms into a ten point lead. So we will at this point in time try to get. Ourselves a little oriented and get some uh, get the score get the scoreboard working. Let's see if I can get uh, figure out a bit, Matty. And I'll throw the technical fun happening and uh you know it seems to kind of be the the basketball, <laughs> right? First quarter action here at Glacier Peak High School. And we'll be right here on the Sound Live Sports Network. <laughs> Up top this time. To a different venue, different spot. I like the internet sounds good up here. So we gotta try this again. Oh. <laughs> it remains to be seen. Down underneath the entering the key is Matty Peter is tied up underneath. And quickly up off the bench is holding the freshman. She will check in for Ali Burdett. Pulling one of those raw talents. Got a long lean body. Good inbound play, Monty. Now the step back. Put on the line, 16 eight. Lead at least single digits. That'll help a little bit. Out top of those, that's one that usually rather not afraid to pull the trigger on. Now a foul call on the big end. Nobody's in the kick, so a turnover. As Simpson, Courtney Simpson checks into the ball game for Edmonds Woodway. Simpson, 5'8", freshman, or forward. She's a junior. Maddie Burdett had Missy Peterson off on the post route. Good TV work there, so they pull it back. <laughs> Peterson now almost at the, the timeline. We'll reverse. Crossover. And then finally give it back. And, of course, Peterson, you want to put your best guard, your best defender on Peterson at all times. Number three, long two. No good. Rebound out of the races. Rasmus and right to the rack to the glass. No. Taken out there by Tudor. And we're going to have to get some stops to at least slow this thing down, this GP train. Yeah, yeah. It seems like they're on them a little bit. And I think that we can answer it back. Peterson jumped for dead. And go. Give the assist to Maddie and Peterson with the boots. She's got six. Now uh, she is seven on Charlie, seven on forty. Glacier Peak business. And pulling a full court pressure. Peterson will bring the ball. Last time we were here on the Town Live Sports Network against Arlington, that one didn't end well. A couple of very, very good teams. Edmonds Goodway has had to play in their three-game losing stretch here. And they've had to go through Arlington. They've had to play Linwood, a very good Linwood team. And losing those, and then they, of course, had to come all the way back to, through short press. And, or short, yeah, it was a short press, short press. The game they would have thought... He would have had in hand the 58-54 loss on Wednesday. Out 
the line are from the Stripe sponsor, Edmund Community College. Tutor with the second, and she hits it. So, splitting a pair to her. She's got three points. And it's a five point Glacier Peak lead, 16 11. Glacier Peak going a little drought here. Started out really hot. Of course, you give them a bunch of three, three balls. They're going to take every one they can. There's another one. That one off nothing but glass. No iron whatsoever. And the other way, stop and pop off the back iron. No good. Tudor had a good look at the well. And now coming the other way, a little finger roll for fact. And that one, she's going to hit every single time. She's a smooth. It's a track meet. <laughs> it's just back and forth, back and forth. It might come down to the end. What was the ball last? Buck 49 to go first quarter. Getting in his traffic, lost the handle. I'll give it up to Fackin up on the left hand side this time. Well, beautiful outside rebound. You're going to have to just control bodies at this point. Find somebody if you're at the way. You would think that without um, the coast, it was like Kayla Watkins, in, that they would take full advantage of having a garden, basically. But I don't think they're still having issues on the, on the rebound. Travel violation on Peterson, who got tied up underneath. 18-11 with mid-19 substitutions for Edwards Woodway. Well, angry for Peterson. Stir things up. Like she just mentioned, big pros coming in there. Kyle Watkins started the ball game. A handful for an undersized Mati Ortega. So that'll be interesting. We're going to get into the paint now. They say she's going to go up with it. Nope. Defense. Hunter back. Get the stop. Minute to go. That's the best way to stop her. Get just collapse on her and then you won't know what to do with it. Three away is Aaron. And another fast break and a foul on the other end. Transition basketball. Textbook by Glacier Peak. Let it get out of the run. And you won't have to count that, but I would imagine. That the speed coming up the court maybe two, three seconds. Missy Pierce per first foul. <laughs> and not even be that much. It's fast. They are running and pushing seconds. the ball up. They're just hitting the open girls. And the next one on the way is good. So Jensen, who entered the ball game with a pair of free throws, actually splits the pair of free throws. So it's 19-11. In favor of Peter Peet. Here is Peterson with the right hand. It's in a traffic and drops a bot foul. And we'll head to the free throw line brought to you by Edmonds Community College. Specimen is Miss Peterson. <laughs> she knows when she needs to score, when she needs to take it in. And a lot of the time, she'll finish well. And if she's doing it, and they keep fouling her, might as well <laughs> keep it up. Get the free throw line. Put a couple in here. Anything else, especially if you can stop that minute left on the clock and score. Maybe get another possession if you will. There's about 12 second differential between shot clock and game clock. So Edmonds Woodway will get another possession. Ortega. The intent was to get down to one. It won't happen. Out it goes top top. Scholl now with El Scholl. Getting into the ball game. Takes it in right hand. That's the man-to-man -man defense. Gets deep in the well. Has one gal underneath. Can't get the fall. Back up the goal. no good. Peterson had two shots at it. Just a boat. And five seconds now. First quarter. And a foul call with a hand. 2.6 seconds. Left to go here. First quarter. That may have been a good foul. Kind of stopped her from into the hoop and finishing. And it wasn't a shooting foul. Got the in down the basketball now. Pulling with her first. They'll get it up. They get it. Oh, I spoke too soon. Getting underneath. Got the luck. He's able to put the bucket up and in at the last possible second here in the first quarter. We'll take a break on the Sound Live Sports Network. Big peak on top of it. 